What's up guys, I'm BG Mike. Last week I asked you guys to ask me some questions, whether it be a random request or just, you know, a question, a serious question. Like I, I really just wanted to hear from you guys and really kind of connect with you guys on a, on a different level. Yes, it's exactly what you think it is. Sorry about this background noise, I don't know, this freaking neighbors decide to take a shower when I need to record. It's not cool, it's not cool. Anyway, let's read your question. All right, so Kingdom of Nerdum um, said, what is, the, what is the upcoming game or top five games you were looking forward to the most? Um, I don't know if I can come up with five on the spot, but I can tell you right now, what I'm really, really excited for is Splatoon. You guys have probably seen a commercial for it, and if you have a Wii U, you definitely know about it. Uh, I know you have played it, and it's just so fun. Like, it's gonna be like my next Halo or Call of Duty or whatever you whatever you want, except with ink. It's, it's just so amazing, I can't wait for it. And just to cover a few more, I'm really excited for the new Zelda game that's gonna be coming out for the Wii U. It's like open world, like way bigger than Skyrim. I'm just like so excited. And then Just Cause 3. If you guys have seen me play Just Cause 3, then or 2, then you know I'm really excited for the third one. It's gonna be way better, I can't wait. Kukolin asked, what was your most memorable, memorable moment in a video game? Man, there's so many, there's like too many. When me and a bunch of my friends, when we were kids, beat a game called Tales of Symphonia. Uh, it was the first time we beat it, I'm just like, it was, it was the most amazing thing in the world. Like we were so united and like we had a system and everything and we were just a bunch of nerds playing in my friend's basement. And it was, it was some of the greatest moments of my life and I, I really love it. Uh, a Wyatt the Tank was, was a part of that. So yeah, if you play Tales of Symphonia, it's definitely an awesome game. All right, next question uh, at Kel okay Kelvin Fulmore or Toby, he asked me. I have two questions. Like one, what's your favorite anime, and two, what's your favorite anime character, and explain why. My favorite anime is kind of tied between Naruto and a show called Clan Ad. I love Naruto so much because it has this awesome action and ninjas. And that, I've watched it for like eight years. Um, it's a huge part of my life. And then I also really like Clan Ad uh, for a few reasons because it's so like beautiful. The soundtrack is absolutely amazing and it's one of the funniest animes I've ever seen and one of the saddest, most like touching animes I've ever seen in my life. I have yet to find one that's top, you know, top it. It's, to me, they're like two different worlds. So I, I really cannot pick. As far as an anime character goes, um, one of my favorites is Rock Lee from Naruto, and the reason why I like him so much is because he's so, like, determined. Like, he does not let circumstances define, you know, him. Even if he has a broken leg or something, he does not let anything stop him. And if someone says, oh, you can't do it, I definitely want to prove them wrong. And that's one thing I like about Rock Lee. Okay, so Kaylin asks, what's your biggest fear? Oh, man. <laughs> As a kid, I played Resident Evil. It was one of the earliest games I ever played, and it's the game I played on my channel. That was one of my biggest fears. So zombies was definitely, it scared me so much. When the zombie turns around, oh man, I, I had nightmares forever. Second biggest fear is probably uh, the Grudge Chick. Um, that also terrified me and gave me nightmares and I couldn't look in my closet for the longest time so now my biggest fear is my computer crashing <laughs> it's sad isn't it <laughs> oh god <laughs> why is the tank <laughs> asked me a few questions and let's see what I don't know I don't know which one to pick I guess I have to pick one first question can you drink at least one-fourth of a bottle of hot sauce preferably Tapatio or Frank's you know exactly what's in my refrigerator that's why you want me to drink that crap <laughs> the second question was will you do a vocal cover of any song okay can you make a cocktail of all the condiments in your fridge and take at least one good gulp Oh uh, god. <laughs> I guess I have to pick one. Alright. This is so hard to pick! Screw you, Wyatt! <laughs> uh, okay, I'm gonna... I'm gonna pick the condiment one. So I'm gonna make a cocktail out of condiments, I guess. I don't even know what the heck's in there. <laughs> you think I would know? Let's go to the kitchen. Come on, guys. <laughs> okay, so I have to use all the condiments. Uh, let's see what we got here. First, first on the list, we got strawberry jam. Strawberry jam, that's gonna be nice. Cholula, mayonnaise, mustard. God, I hate mayonnaise. 
Then we got ketchup ranch, fire sauce, and barbecue sauce. God, there's a lot of hot sauce. <laughs> oh, oh yeah, we can't forget about Frank's Red Hot. I have Vegemite, and thank God it's not in the refrigerator, so you can't make me eat that, you piece of crap. <laughs> By the way, I know why it is, so <laughs> I can call him that. All right. Mm. I hate you, Wyatt. We've already added all this crap, so take a look at that. That's lovely, isn't it? Oh, That's God. disgusting. This is by far the nastiest thing I've ever done in my life. I, I don't know if I can think of anything else. Oh, I just had mouthwash, too. <laughs> you thought mouthwash and orange juice was bad. Here goes nothing. Ugh. <laughs> That's disgusting. Well, it mostly tastes like hot barbecue sauce, but I can taste the other stuff and it's chunky. Oh, God. <laughs> what am I doing with my life? I hope you're happy, Wyatt. I did it for you. Next question. Um, at Bella J. Davis or Tink Bell asks, Will you marry me? Cut the chills. Well, you see, that's gonna complicate things since I'm already married to the waiter from my Valentine's Day video. And if you don't believe me, just watch this clip. Waiter, will you marry me? Hello, is it me you're looking for? I can see it in your eyes. You know, in fact, he owes me a lot of child support. I'm calling him right now. I'm gonna call him right now. He ain't giving no money to my kids. Waiter. Hello? Hey, waiter. waiter yeah, you haven't paid me any child support. N not a single dime. Not a single dime, you know why? Why? Because you work your stupid crappy waiter jobs? Yeah, that's why, because my job's so damn crappy. I don't make any tips. <laughs> you, think, you think minimum wages in us? Oh, that just comes with the gas to get practice for us. You freaking, you, you're all the way in Oklahoma. I never see you. Take the f hit. <laughs> <laughs> I want a divorce, okay? I'm seeing somebody else. You, you think that bothers me? Yes, I hope it does. You know you love all these goodies. Yeah, that's fine. What, whatever. Yeah, I told him. Tink Bell also asks, where do you see yourself in the next five years? I hope I'm doing YouTube because I actually, I just love it. I love YouTube so much. It's, it's really the first thing I've actually done that I really, really want to keep doing forever. And uh, my channel is growing now. I'm like almost at 400 subscribers. It's ridiculous. And when you guys leave awesome comments saying that you like my videos and all that, it actually gives me hope that that could happen one day. And I just... It's so, it's so like mind-blowing. I, I love it so much. So yeah, hopefully still, you know, doing YouTube full-time. That'd be amazing. The last question is from Divine Traber. Tru Truber? I, I'm sorry, man. I don't know, I don't know how to say your name. You asked, would you rather have no internet or no cell phone? I mean, I, I would really, it would really suck to not have a cell phone. Uh, I'm always on things like YouTube and, and Twitter at work. But without internet, you know, what's the point of having a cell phone? You, you know, you can't really do anything. <laughs> Not these days. Definitely no cell phone because with that internet I couldn't make awesome videos for you guys so that would that would suck. I definitely would not like that. That's gonna do it for all the questions for Be You Ask. I really hope you guys uh, want to do see more of this. Uh, I definitely want to do more and I want to see more ridiculous ones if, if possible. But don't don't make me nothing nasty. That was so disgusting. It's just like just knowing what I was eating it's absolutely horrible. <laughs> I just want to thank you guys so much for your questions, for taking the time out to do that, and watching this video. Uh, if you liked it, leave a like and let me know if you want to see more in the future. And if you guys are a first time watcher, uh, please subscribe. It'd be awesome. It'd help me out, help me grow my channel, and continue you know, to do what I love doing. So anyway guys, I'm BG Mike, and I will see you guys in my next video, whatever I'm doing. Bye guys.